Hello guys, in this tutorial I will uh, try to show you how to use the ROFB uh, wheel in uh, Silent Hunter 5 game, ok? Uh, to play like this <coughs> you need uh, to have installed the last Darwright interface which is version 6.4 because in this interface he used the real uh, dimension of the ship by Tonila Coyote uh, and also you must have installed the Manos scope mod which have the Mars on the arrow FB uh, very accurate and uh, the third mod that you need is uh, the Trevally tutorials uh, all of these mods you can uh, can be found on the subsim page okay so I have installed all those modes and what I'm doing. So in this uh, tutorial I don't uh, I I will show you how I learned playing a tutorial in game, how I learned to use the ROFB wheel to take all the dimension uh, all the data to put in my TDC for a hunter ship, okay? So first I will go <coughs> here on the tutorial. And because I have installed the Trevally mode, Trevally tutorial mode I will choose uh, this one, ROFB practice. I click on this one and you see I have here write ROFB practice and here is write the name of the mission that I must to play. Okay, so I will go, the next step I will go in historical mission and this one is uh, ROFB, you see uh, is already marked. So I click on it and I go start. I hope it not take long to load this one. So this tutorial will be like in two parts. The first part we learn together how to use the ROFB wheel and the second part we go in the game and we, we use for real the ROFB. So the tutorial started. Okay, you see here ROFB practice. In this tutorial we will look at gathering information from the visual target. Okay? So with the ROFB wheel we will uh, get all the information for a ship uh, that we have visual with that ship, okay? He told us, remember you can drag this box to anywhere on the screen from the top bar of the tutorial. So I'm going here and I can drag this where I want, okay? First I want to verify something. Yeah, okay. We will use the scope and the ROFB wheel. I can play put next if I want. Let's get started. Next to continue. I press next. ROFB. Range angle on bow finder. Is a this device that surrounds the viewing area of the observation and attack scopes. Click next. I will click next. This allow us to quickly scan the target ship and using the disk determine the values required to put a uh, full firing solution into the TDC. Click next. So what values can we get visually from using the ROFB? Next. Ok, he told us uh, we can move this also, if I put this one here I can move where I want, you see? if uh, he is blocking my uh, visual image, okay? Step 1. Bearing to the target. So, bearing to the target, you see here, he show us target, uh, submarine and bearing, okay? Click next. When we, point the when, <coughs> when we point the scope at the target ship, the scope bearing is the bearing to the target. So, when, when we put our periscope uh, on the ship, this is the bearing of the target, okay? So click next. This is very simple. Step 2. Range to the target. You see? So here is the target, here is us, and this will be the range between us and the target. Click next. Note. You can scroll through the tutorial anytime, repeat a stage. So we can scroll like this, you see? If I put my mouse here, I can scroll and go back to if I, the tutorial play, uh, played to too fast and uh, I cannot follow him, you see? And also I can pause from here if I want, you see? Okay. 
so I, I choose next. We use information from, sh from ship mass height to get range to target. So to he told us to get to get the range to the target we must use the mass height of that ship, okay? With bearing and range to the target we start to get a, a real idea of where the target is for making a torpedo solution. Step 3 the target AOB. What is AOB? Its angle on bow is the angle what you would view the U-boat if you were standing on the target ship. So if if we are here we view like this you see. Next. We use information for ship length to target. Target AOB if we know the target angle on bow we also know the target heading so it's it's very simple because if we know the bearing this is the bearing okay after that if we know the angle on bow from here to here so we can easily found the target course it's very simple this okay next step four we will find the target speed okay next so all this data we will use only the arrow FB wheel. We don't need math or uh, something like that. Only the disk, and with the help with uh, of the disk, we can find all that information th that we need to put uh, in our uh, TDC. Torpedo solution. <coughs> Feeding the information we have gathering into the TDC will provide the torpedo with a zero angle recur zero angle required to hit the target click next okay this so this is the arrow fib that we spoke at okay here we have the marks on the arrow fib here we have the uh, ring so this one with blue is the outer ring this one with red is called the middle outer ring this one is the middle inner ring so this is the uh, the middle ring so it's here is the outer here is the win inner and here is the inner ring so we have like three rings you see here one two three and this from the middle he has two parts w one outside one inside okay and also we have three markers this one is the black marker this one is the red marker and this one is the black marker number three okay so we have three marks three rings and the middle ring has uh, two position outside inside okay next uh, Maybe it's complicated to keep all this information in your mind, but if you play the tutorial a few times and if you go in game and you use this a uh, few times, after that you will get uh, used with this and you will find very easy to use the Aero FB. For me it was like this, uh, when I started I was saying, oh no way, no way I don't like it, it's too complicated. But after a few times I... I, I uh, I played this tutorial few times and uh, now it's very clear in my mind everything. Okay, you will see it's not it's not complicated at all. So this is this outer ring is used for ship size information. When we set the for mass height or ship length, we use this outer ring. So uh, this outer ring, okay, the the first ring, we use this ring when we uh, put the mass height of the ship or the ship length okay so we keep ma in my mass height and ship length ship length and mass height is with in the outer ring okay next now we have the middle ring outside so he is calling middle outer ring okay so the position from outside okay the middle ring outer is used for range information here we read and set range. The range numbers are uh, multiplied by 100. So if we have 10, that means 1000 meter. Okay, so it's very simple. You see here the middle ring. The middle ring and the outside position. So we have here 10, 11, 12. So that means here we have 1100 meters. Here we have 1200 meters, 1300 and so on. We multiply uh, with uh, 100. Okay, so this is the range. So when we when we speak about the range, we use this uh, uh, middle ring, the outside position. Okay. Next, the middle ring inner. So the the middle ring inner. So is the <laughs> this ring middle the inside position. 
uh, water line to top of mast or optical length above the steering information. So here we set the number of the mast reaches on the vertical scale of length of the horizontal scale. So what does this mean? You see here these values from uh, you ha we have uh, 0, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 2 and so on. This value is from inside where is the blue? Okay, so we have the middle ring here. You see? I, I show you in just a second. But no. So uh, when you are using the RFB, you will have like this on the vertical line of the scope some marks. Okay, so after you count these marks, if you have, for example, three marks, the this is the marks that uh, Dervali sp spoke about here. Okay, you will see later. Next, the inner ring is in AOB scales to 90 degree. So this is the inner ring. What is the inner ring? The inner ring represent the uh, degrees in angle for the AOB, okay? So here is 90, you see? So the inner ring is uh, from uh, 0 to 90, okay? Keep this in your mind. Let's go to the attack periscope and activate the station so we can try this out. Remember, you can walk or teleport. So I will teleport myself to the scope. So I I just uh, go here, for example, and choose here teleport and choose teleport to scope. Okay. So right now, okay. You see here is you must follow step by step what is right in here. Okay. Now raise your scope fully by clicking here. So here means here. <laughs> Okay, so I click here. Just a second. I want to put this way in something. You see, he's telling us step one: bearing to the target. You don't. You stay until he he will do next next step. So now we will practice bearing to the target. How we uh, uh, find the bearing to the target with the arrow uh, FB wheel? Okay, so this is. We learn about the AeroFB uh, uh, wheel that uh, has three rings. Okay, so now first so let's find the uh, the range. Okay, so zoom to six by using your mouse wheel and press the space bar to lock this target. So what I'll do? I will go here and I will zoom in. Okay. And after that, I will press space. Just a second. Thirty this year. So I will press space. Perfect. Step one completed. We are looking at the cargo, and we have bearing to target two to one degrees. Okay. So bearing to target, you see here two to one degrees, and fighter. We want the whip officer to do this. Click on him to get this option. So now. This is the whip officer. Okay, I click on 